today I'm going to go through exercise 1.6, compound interest. Oh, this new function is so cool. Okay, but it's a bit lagging. Right, so let's move on. First of all, I'm going to recap the formula of compound interest that we went through in the previous video. So for compound interest, the formula will be P1 plus R over 100 to the power of N. So P stands for principal amount. Or the initial amount. And R stands for the interest rate. This could be by month, monthly interest rate, or by year, so annum or you know, uh, okay, or like quarters, half yearly, doesn't matter. And n will be the number of cycles this is gonna repeat. Okay, now the subtitle is just quoting gibberish. I should off that. Okay. So let's start with uh, question 5 from level 2 question. It is a simple interest question. First of all, this will be the principal amount. He borrowed $1,800 and then after that he has to repay 1989 after 9 months. So first of all, the interest that he has accumulated is 1989 minus 1800 and that would be 189. So in 9 months, he has accumulated interest of $189. And because this is simple interest, so even if you think about it, that means every month, uh, suppose this is a monthly interest, uh, every month is gonna they are going to deduct the same amount based on this starting amount of 1800 So this is the interest in 9 months. So interest, we can find the interest per month. Okay, we can suppose, we can assume that it is deducted monthly. So interest per month is 189 divided by the 9 months. That means every month it has deducted $21. So that's why after nine months, you know, he owe one eight nine because every month there's a twenty one dollar accumulated to it. So that means we can find the interest rate per month. After that, you just you just multiply by twelve, and that will be per annum. Okay, per month. That would be twenty one out of one thousand eight hundred times hundred percent. And you have, okay, I'm just going to put in a mixed fraction first. Okay, 1 and 1 over 6%. That means for per year, per annum or per year, it will be 1 and 1 over 6 times 12. And you have it, 14 so for for interest uh, whether is it by per month or per annum it is quite uh, easy to do that when you when you have per month you just times 12 that's what you get per annum and if you want to go calculate per month you just divide by 12 so now to question 7 a loan grows to 3740 after one year and 4,114 after two years with compound interest computed annually. 
find the interest rate per annum, which is which means they want you to find R and they want you to find original loan P. There are two unknowns here. Let's recap on the compound interest formula. This is what we have. So in this case, you have two pieces of information here. You have 3,740 after one year. So the formula that you can write means after one year, the loan becomes whatever this principal amount is. One plus, I don't know what is the interest. But after one year, you have 3,740. So I call this my equation one. And then... Again, I don't know what is P, I don't know what is R, but I have two unknown and I have two equation. I can solve this. After two years, I have 4, 1, 1, 4. This is my equation too. So how should I do this? First of all, you want to find the R first, so let's get rid of the P. And obviously, plus or minus, you can't get rid of P. So in this case, your only option here is to divide. So let's try to use equation 2, divide by equation 1, and see what we get. So if I put equation 2 here, divide by equation 1, this is... Uh, something similar to simultaneous linear equation that you learned last year. So you are expected to remember and then put this to use again. Okay, so I have two equations, I have two unknowns. First of all, I, this is somewhat like elimination, you know, I am eliminating my P now. So I only have an R, which means I can definitely solve this equation. Now this is 1 plus R over 100 squared, and this is uh, 1 plus R over 100 to the power 1. That means I can divide this away as well. So what I have left is 1 plus r over 100 will be equal to this, 3740. Okay, so that means I have r over 100 will be equal to 4114 over 3740. Four zero minus away one. And I have zero point one, which means R is equal to zero point one times one hundred equals to ten. So we know that the interest rate per annum is actually ten percent. And now to part B, this is part A, you want to find the original loan P. Not enough space, so let that means once you know R, you can just sub back into the equation, right? So let's just sub R equals to 10 into equation 1 or 2, it doesn't matter, but 1 will be much easier in this case. Hmm. So P1 plus 10 over 100 to the power of 1, which I can omit that, is equal to 3740. So P is just 3740 divide, because this is a times, so if I want to remove this to the other side, I just have to divide it. Divide away 1 plus 10 over 100. So all you have to do is to key this in your calculator. Divide by... And there you have it, P is equal to 3,400. That's your principal amount for your original loan. For question 8, the sum of money grows to 3,800 in 3 years at 6% per annum compound interest. So you want to find the sum of money if the interest is compounded yearly versus monthly. So suppose now, suppose now it is compounded yearly, right? So let's go back to this formula and uh, sub in what we know. Uh, 100 to the power of n. 
So what we know is it grows to 3,800. And that will be in three years at 6% per annum. So 6% in three years. So per annum means uh, it's only tabulated after the end of the year and it's tabulated three times. So n is equal to three. There are three cycles here. So let's start with this. You want to find the sum of money, which is the principal amount, right? So p is equal to 3,800. Divide away this whole thing. And there you have it, 3,800 over 1 plus 6 over 100 to the power of 3. And you have 3190.552 dp. So you started off with this. If it is compounded monthly, that means this 6% in 12 months interest I have to convert it to in one month, what is the interest? That would be 0.5%. So, and what will be my N in this case? Monthly in three years, three years will be 36 months. 36 months, that means it, that will, it will be th tabulated 36 times, 36 cycles. So in my, in my formula, I will have to fill in accordingly. It will be 0.5% per month, tabulated for 36 months. And then you have, at the end of three years, 3,800. So my P will be 3,800. Somehow PowerPoint is not very sensitive to pen. See this, see this in your calculator. And you have 3175.45. DP. So I think the point of this question is to show you that even though the interest rate is the same, per, you know, it's still 6% per annum for part A and part B, but when it's compounded yearly versus monthly, it's gonna, there's going to be a difference. So you have to take note of this. Okay, so that is the end.